Hi Bex, thanks for your question about whether varicose veins can return after treatment. The simple answer is yes, they can return, but there are three ways that they can return. The first and most common way, unfortunately in the UK, is that you didn't even have the right vein treated in the first place. So doctors who do their own quick scan and they're only looking for either the great saphenous vein or the small saphenous vein, just the two main veins, they will probably offer you treatment of one or both of those and not realising there's another 150 different veins that can cause problems, pelvic veins, perforating veins, anterior accessory, all sorts of different veins. And that's why you have to have a proper scan done by a specialist vascular technologist or similar who will work in conjunction with the doctor. If the doctors do their own scan themselves, really be worried about that because you can't be that expert to do scans and also do all the treatments as well. And that's why the nice guidelines say you should work in teams if you are doing vein surgery. So the first thing to do is if you always have a scan, you should never have the wrong veins treated. The second commonest reason that people get their veins back is they've had the wrong treatment, which means that the right vein has been treated but with the wrong technique, which might be stripping, it might be foam sclerotherapy in a vein that's too big, it might be laser or radiofrequency in a vein that needed more power and they didn't use the right wavelength or the right power. So in other words, the target vein was correct, but it was the wrong, uh, the wrong technique or the wrong way of doing it. So those are the two commonest reasons. And when you hear people say veins always come back, uh, that's why. It's either the wrong veins were treated or the right veins, but with the wrong technique. If, like at the Whiteley Clinic, you've overcome those two problems by doing the research, by having proper scans done by uh, vascular technologists trained in the Whiteley Protocol, and you always use the right techniques as determined by the size of the vein by the Whiteley Protocol, in the right order and the right steps, then you've only got one chance of ever getting veins back again, and that is the chance of natural deterioration. And you can tell if you've got natural deterioration because when you are part of a registry, such as the College of Globology Venous Registry, which all the Whiteley Clinic doctors are, we can look back and we can see what the recurrence rates are. Now, in a group of people who have never had varicose veins before, but who have varicose veins in the family, we know the chance of them developing new varicose veins is between 3% and 4.5%. So if we look at all the patients treated by the specialists at the Whiteley Clinic, we should be able to tell what the cause of the veins coming back are by that percentage. And as it turns out, we've published our 15 year results. And at the Whiteley Clinic using our techniques, only 3.3% of people get varicose veins after treatment, which is exactly the same as people who've never had treatment. So in other words, we have now overcome those first two problems, and the only chance you ever get of getting varicose veins back in after our treatments is if you, at the Whiteley Clinic, provided you follow that protocol, as I said, you will only have a chance of developing new veins in veins that have not been treated. Now, People who don't follow our protocol, of course, and places where you go and have a doctor doing a quick scan or they use techniques that are not what we would use, of course, the results are far higher. And that's why you still hear people say veins always come back. If we could get doctors doing varicose veins all the time and venous surgery all the time rather than just doing it one day a week, um, we would really be able to improve results tremendously. So the biggest determinant of whether you get varicose veins back after treatment uh, or not is who you see and what techniques they use right the way through from who does the scan, what protocols they use and how they differ between different patients. That's why we set up the Whiteley Clinic to be experts in this area.